Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a less common functionality proof. This is for Samsung Power Supply Board BN44 their 00515A as you can see from this label belonging to, doesn't really matter who does it belong to, but it is signed real digital so that the customer know this is their board and uh, I want to show first that it does test all right now and second I want to make a comment even though I believe I already did that so uh, this is what the customer said I wrote real digital okay so we know this is your board uh, TV started turning on and off by itself sometimes got worse basically won't turn at all I saw as I, uh, you wrote on eBay when I punish and when I pushed him on the plug at the ribbon that plugged into the top left of the board the standby light would turn on and then I could turn on the TV it would stay for a while then again turn off uh, so I might want to check the pins on that plug at the top left now <clears throat> first things first uh, this is the connector that the customer is talking about and I'll get back to that in a second right now we have the usual setup the the connector that actually controls the board is this one actually those two and the the pins that control the board as I have shown in many other videos are the PSOM pin and the VSOM pin and they're both available here on this connector as well I don't remember whether they were working here on some boards they work on others they don't what we've done is a simple jig that jumper that when plugged in what it does is it shorts PS on to ground and right now at PS on we will be having uh, about 3 volts let me see what is PS on the second one is PS on there you go and what we have there is 4.2 volts that is logical high when that pin gets grounded the board wakes up from the very basic power that it uh, generates and produces a number of other voltages one of the most important things that it does is it turns on the circuit that is up here which is called power factor correction and one of the things that you can tell that the board is on it actually uh, the relay here clicks it's pretty quiet so you may not hear it but when I put that in it's going to click I don't know if you heard it but I did and in addition to that a number of voltages appear on other connectors let me see what we have here the 15 volts will show up that is one two three four from the top two three four from the top this is 15 volts and it's negative because my probes are reversed the ground is with the red and the sharp pointer is the ground the only difference is this I'm getting the negative voltages there on the reading but I'm caring about the values there is still no VS nothing here uh, let me see if there was VA on some boards there is at that point on others there isn't there is no VA as well so in order to get those two VS and VA uh, the pin that is here that says VS on has to be sent logical one that is 5 volts and if I measure the voltage right here I stuck the probe in it and there is nothing right there but when I press the button that we have on the jig this button 5 volts are being jumped from there uh, to the other side and there I am pressing the button we have 5 volts on that pin and when that happens VS stays high now I release the button and that is why you don't see it high right now there's one way I can do it I can measure it I guess here while pressing the button let me see if that's VS or VA oh come on okay so that is VS where it's being measured and I'm just not making good contact here it is 220 volts that's what it's supposed to be and this is where I'm measuring it and the better point for measuring is right here up 
a, a board since it does have a built-in protection uh, if it can if it's told to raise VS and it can't raise it for some reason it, usually the built-in watchdog kicks in and shuts it off and so do other important voltages not necessarily all of them different boards have different protections but what I wanted to show is that the board comes up clicks on, activates, and in order to VS to show up, and that's basically the last and most powerful voltage on the board, the rest are also showing up. I'm not going to show how to measure them. Uh, the board is working fine now. It's been fixed. Now, a word for this connector that the customer said uh, when you plug in stuff, uh, standby comes up. As I told you before you send the board in our, uh, in our exchange, there is absolutely nothing on that board that has anything to do with the standby voltage. As you can see, there is ground, 15 volts, VA and VS. VA and VS are the two highest voltages. Those are the ones that are being generated for the panel itself. And they are generated after everything else works on the board. They have absolutely nothing to do with the standby. The 15 volts are activated when the standby voltage is already pre presented present i'm sorry my english sucks here uh and the board the board is told to wake up what was happening just as i told you before you send the board uh you were just physically the board as you can see is not very well leveled and you were physically moving the board and something was making contact but it had absolutely nothing to do with this particular connector so, if you guys have a problem with the standby, do not look at that connector. It's it's not where it is. That is all. Thanks for watching.